All right, guys. Welcome back to another video tutorial. Uh, today we're going to be discussing about burp a little bit, and this video is getting uploaded uh, a little bit after my Python tutorial has gone up. So if you guys are interested in learning about Python and how it can help you in penetration testing or in programming field in general, feel free to check that out. And let's get on to burp. So. What is burp? First of all, burp is a proxy tool that uh, runs on your local host server. So anything that goes from your computer, any request that you make from your computer to another server is intercepted by burp suit and you guys can modify and analyze the request and uh, use it to your advantage to cause some overflows or uh, you know just beat some length limits etc etc etc. So first thing you guys would, can you please, thank you. So the first thing you guys would want to do is come to portrigger.net and these are the guys that make burp suits so you guys can just read the testimonials and all the companies that uh, use burp suit it's actually a pretty cool software so I don't think if anybody's in for sec I don't see a reason why not why wouldn't you use it so the next thing you guys would want to do is open a burp suit and let's wait for it to open it actually takes quite some time all right here it is why does everything want to go uh nope close come in so this is the screen that you would be greeted with until and unless you guys actually have okay until and unless you guys actually have a licensed version of burp suit you will not be able to create new projects nor will you be able to open new project files or existing project files it doesn't work that way and it's about it's over 300 dollars for this license and uh, let's get on with it so even the free edition should just work for you just fine and i'm going to teach you how to make configuration files of your own so don't worry about that if you already have your configuration files feel free to use them let's start burp so it's loading the whole burp thing and like i said it acts as a proxy so all of the headers that are uh, being transferred will be intercepted by it so to set up a proxy you have to change the browser settings the first thing you guys would want to do is go to settings preferences this will open this thing up go to advanced uh, this for firefox doesn't matter if uh, it's on windows or linux even it will work on ice weasel which is basically firefox so go to connection and uh, click on settings go to manual and uh, probably your all of the options would be highlighted just click this so this is the proxy that will be used throughout the procedure so any ssl connections ftp connections sox connections would be handled by this ip which is your local host so 110.0.0.0.1 would be your uh, ip address and uh, not ip address your local host address and this will be the port that everything will be get redirected to so hit ok the next thing guys thing you guys would want to do is go to http colon slash slash burp hit enter and you guys will be greeted with this page now what this page is is just a server that's running on your local host you guys need to download this ca certificate download this and save it the next thing after it's downloaded what you guys would want to do is just open this thing go to downloads i'm gonna move this on my other monitor go to preferences and certificates uh, go to view certificates and go to authorities go to import and uh, where's this downloads all right so go to downloads go to cert to dot actually ca cert and open it so i'm not gonna open it already have it inserted what this will do is that whenever you're trying to conduct a man in the middle middle attack you will not have proper SSL authentication for example whenever you go to google.com I'm just gonna use Chrome for this come on buddy google.com are you serious thank you so whenever you go to google.com you guys see this is an HTTPS connection which means all of this thing is going over SSL or to be honest TSL transport security layer not SSL is actually quite outdated but TSL is still referred as SSL not the point uh, what this will do is that uh, everything is intercepted by burp and so burp has to say that I am a legitimate source so you guys can trust me and feel free to send all of your sensitive data to me so we add its certificate to our browser and we say yep we trust this source doesn't matter if it's on if it's running on localhost doesn't matter if the keys are weak 
just uh, pass all of the data through this proxy so after you've added this close the preferences tag open a new tab and uh, let me close the rest of the things and let's get on to burp so this is did i close burp okay no i didn't, I didn't, I didn't. this is opening another instance of it so this is burp over here let me just close this leave yes leave yes dude come on okay so when you open a burp it's quite intimidating but uh, once you guys get to know what it, it actually does it's uh, quite easy well not easy but yeah it's okay <laughs> so these are the main tabs that i will be focusing on target proxy spider scanner um repeater intruder and comparer for now after that we're going to move on to the next one so go to proxy and click on options this is the interface that we'd be using be sure that it's running and uh, you don't have to make it invisible doesn't matter and you guys can go to edit and edit the ports so you guys can change the addresses so if your burp is running remotely and you are doing something crazy like that uh, feel free to do this and click ok so remember that your proxy is running and go to intercept so this is the place where all of the headers that are captured will be shown so let's click on ports figure dot net and it should have the header so we have forward drop and action so action sends uh, tells you that what you want to do so this packet can be sent to intruder repeater sequencer comparer etc 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 which i will explain to you later S uh taking a brief glance at it first thing you get to know is that it's a get request it's uh, on http 1.1 and uh, this is the website or the host that we're going to this is our agent that i'm using mozilla firefox on uh, x64 bit uh linux and uh, this is the type of uh, okay have i totally lost it uh this is the type of data it will accept this these are the language that it will accept and these are the cookies that identify your session so just by looking at it you guys can uh, automatically identify that uh, this is written asnet and this is a connection close type and you guys are getting upgraded now you guys can go to params and these are three parameters that are being forwarded to the server itself so these three are your cookies that are getting transferred to personalize your uh, viewing experience of the website you guys can go to headers and see all of the headers that are there you guys can remove the headers add the headers and uh, change the type so change the request type and uh, let's move on to hex so this is the hex implementation of the whole thing so go back to raw and click on forward okay that's a big error what's up uh, let me go to google.com go to burp suit forward this packet when you forward this packet it means you are accepting that this request is okay and uh, you're sending the packets to the web server itself so this is asking for another packet and uh, these are the packets that you're sending by the way so you forward it forward it forward it let's just say i don't want to post this information it means it's uh entering all of this information into the server so i just say you know what i'm gonna drop it i don't care and uh, drop so that those details did not get to the server now if you go to target oh shit uh, i shouldn't have opened google now if you go to target what it does is that all of the websites that you browse that the proxy interprets all of the domain names will be headed over here now the best thing about is is that okay the first thing if you guys are wondering these are supposed to be uh fonts or fonts no okay these are supposed to be fonts uh these some of it is hindi marathi and all of the other languages that uh, i don't have fonts for so apparently this is what it's saying and i just got a notification <laughs> anyways so let's open a burp again so these are all of the websites proxy that it just interpreted and we have another proxy i'm just going to drop it again drop it again drop it again and go to target again so suppose i'm just uh, seeing what what's up with google.com right and uh, this these are all of the files that okay why am i talking so slow i have no idea all right uh, some more energy so i'll come up so uh, once you click on the domain that you actually want to do see in today's websites what happens is that there are a lot of cross domain request and uh, a lot of ajax is running 
so once you are going through your website that you guys want to attack or you know just elaborate and go through uh, there's a good chance that a lot of entries that you guys don't want or that you guys didn't intend to go to in the first place will appear it's actually good because you guys can know that uh, you guys can just expand your attacking area you guys can expand your entry points so once you click over there you guys can see that these are all of the other links and directories and if you guys can click on URL, these are the URLs that you guys that you get into. So the first thing, whenever you're going to, uh, whenever you're doing a penetration test on a web application, the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is that open up Burp. And the second thing is you guys want to do is set up your config uh, proxy configurations and start browsing through all of the links manually. Uh, the thing about manual browsing is that it's extremely tedious and it's so annoying but you have to go through it just because you guys can capture all of the things and you guys can send this whole target to the uh, spider and you guys can just right click on this and spider this host when I say I would explain about the spider this is actually pretty clear when you send a target domain to the spider it will just uh, crawl all of the links it will click on the links and the links of that page and it will go on until unless it receives a breaking point or a loop and it will stop so it will create the whole all of the directories for you over here so i'm not going to be actually going through all uh, an actual website i'm going to be creating a website or i'm going to be creating a website on uh, you know localhost just to give you an example i don't think so i should browse an actual website for this and uh, so this is what target does is right so you guys can right click on this and you guys can add to scope so this particular domain would be added to your target scopes these are just entries if you click on targets add the scope it will actually be a target all right um you know what it's already 12 minutes long and uh, i would like to explain the rest of the tabs even the spider tab in much much more detail later on so that's it for today's video guys you guys finally get the burp video i will try to upload it in <coughs> uh more periodically uh, i don't know i would just adjust my uploading schedule a little, little bit better again i address this in my python video i will address it here again all of the people that are complaining about my funny accent or my phonetics i would just like to you know like you to know that i don't give a shit it's like i i don't care and oh my god Okay, for a moment there I was scared that I wasn't recording any sound. Holy shit. Uh, if that were true, I was quitting. <laughs> like I said, I don't care. I don't care if you guys think that uh, the guy is not pronouncing anything right, the guy is not working on his phonetics, not trying hard. I, I, I don't care, alright? I am just here to put up videos for beginners or people like me who have a hard time understanding basic concepts and who are not that smart, okay? I'm not. A very smart person i take more tries to understand some stuff that my friends get in a jiffy so i am actually quite a dumb person but i am just uploading videos to help out you guys and quite frankly i don't give a shit like i don't feel like i owe you guys anything for the subscribes like unsubscribe I, what are these like i have 250 something subscribers they're not worth anything it's like if you like my content thank you so much it actually helps i read nice comments and it actually feels makes me feel better that okay i did something nice for somebody it's nice to see that somebody saying hey man i like your videos it's weird to see somebody complaining about hey dude you're not able to pronounce this right it's so frustrating it's so annoying that you're not even trying hard this is not an english drama cl class if you haven't noticed i am here to tell you the things that i know i don't give a shit that if you're not able to understand you're not able to understand go to some other youtube channel there are hundreds of them go to some other video, youtube channel mute the, mute the goddamn volume like stop being a little bitch seriously stop being a little bitch and just go with it suck it up it's the real world nobody cares anyways if you like this video like subscribe if you guys have any comments um if you guys have any questions please put them in the comments down below if you guys have any remarks about my accent i'm just gonna block you from commenting on my channel i do not like weird notifications Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video tutorial. Thank you.